In this video, we take a look at the Common Weakness Enumeration, or CWE. CWE is a community-developed list of software and hardware weaknesses, maintained by the MITRE Corporation. We can compare a weakness to the situation where there is an unlocked entrance to a building. This would allow someone to enter without permission. Each unique weakness is assigned a specific CWE number. The CWE entries in the list form a tree of different abstraction layers. There are classes, which are the most abstract entries. They are language and technology independent. An example of a CWE class is improper restriction of operations within the bounds of a memory buffer. Next, we have base level weaknesses, being more specific than classes. The weakness CWE787, or out of bounds right, is an example of a base level weakness and is a child of the previous weakness. Last, we have variants, the most specific type of weaknesses. An example of such is a stack based buffer overflow, which is a child of the out of bounds right weakness. Let us have a look at the CW entry from the list. We use the class weakness from our previous example. We are presented with a description of the weakness. We can also see the relationships between this and other weaknesses. We can see the possible platform where this weakness applies. A stack-based buffer overflow is most common in programs written in C or C++. There is information about common consequences associated with this weakness and the likelihood of exploit. The demonstrative examples show snippets of code where this weakness occurs. This lets developers learn and recognize common errors in order to prevent such mistakes. Further down, we're given a list of observed examples of vulnerabilities in this weakness category. CWE also provides an annual top 25 list of the most dangerous weaknesses. In 2020, the five first entries consist of the following CWEs. Now when you have a basic understanding of CWE, you can use it to your advantage to avoid common pitfalls.